Hello people on YouTube, this is Catfine Jedi, and it's time to answer all your questions. And I got quite a lot of them. Well, for me, anyways. Like I said, video responses were best, so since I only got one of them, they get preference. Uh, my question is, uh, have you ever tried adopting a British accent to see if you can fool British people into thinking you're British? Have I ever faked an English accent so people could think I'm English? I couldn't even get away with it. I once tried to with a couple of my friends just to see if I could, and I sounded like a drunk Mary Poppins. Like a spoonful of sugar, have some medicine, go down. My question to you is, can I make you a theme song? It'll be nice and cutesy. And you can decide exactly how it goes. Um... I would definitely be up for listening to anything you come up with, but I can't really make any promises since other people have also sent me things that I could use, so... The contest is still up for who is making me a theme song. So with the helpful use of my tablet, which is not an iPad, but still pretty good. Ahem, <clears throat> let's begin. GS Inquisitor, my hair is only one and a half inches long. How do I get it crazy awesome just out of the shower hair like yours? Well, I would assume you can just like leave it like wrapped in a towel for like three hours and don't do anything. Just let that humidity just like sink into the scalp and then it might look somewhat resembling my craziest hair. Mike Ilk, no sexual questions. Man, that just killed it for me. What's your ethnicity? Mixed Hispanic of some kind? Arbot. 2310 says, okay, what's your design creative process like every time you try to start a new project? Well, the hardest part is getting past the procrastination. I like to soak in the bathtub and then think about shit and then uh, play music. And then I sit there in like a daze and I stare at the wall and people think I'm nuts, but it's really because I'm like playing an entire scene in my head that I want to write down. You've lived in the UK. What is your take on the food, fashion, and the way of life? The food isn't a... Uh, the greatest aspect of English life. Fashion is good, definitely uh, girls hoe it up a little more than I'm used to, but maybe because I wasn't the clubbing type before, but, and I live in a college town, but damn, man! How do they sit, is all I can say. And way of life, it's fine. I don't particularly dislike the way of life here. I think the one thing is like, I once wrote down on a Facebook post that like, ghetto comes in every color. And in England it truly does. Like, I guess in America we have a stereotype of ghetto people and usually it's a person of color and in England, no fucking way, man. Your ghetto people just come in every shade. Antonius the Great. Which European country do you want to visit the most? I really want to go to Austria. I want to go to Vienna. I have a friend who's actually moving there, so now I have an excuse. If there's any suggestions of where else I can go, I'm happy to hear it, but I'm still trapped in the UK. Thank you, Border Patrol. Ibrahim Kazim, I have a religious question. How much do you know about Islam? Did you search enough about it? Uh, I know the very basics. I haven't gone through reading the Quran in full. I've read parts of it, like a lot of people have. I think it, in the same terms, I think of any other religion. It's fine until you take it to a crazy level. Pluto. What do you think of Lawrence Krauss's philosophical exploitations from the laws of relativistic quantum field theories? I don't know anything about this, and I didn't bother Google searching it. Observer eyes. What is the strangest experience I've had while living in Japan? I guess the strangest experience I ever had was that time I got hit by that car. It wasn't like severely hit, I just got like hit in the ass, and then got my foot run over, and then like the driver drove away, and it was like this whole mission to try to find the driver. And then I found out that like the Japanese police like really had nothing else to do except find the drivers. So they like, literally took every person in like the police box, which was like six people to go and find them. Then at the end of the night, when I finally, after going to the hospital, and I had to go to the police station to give a statement, and then they found the driver, and the driver shows up with like his like fucking two-year-old sleeping son and newborn baby and wife to personally apologize to me. That shit was so weird. Anki, I got some mean looks from young Japanese women when I went there. That happened to you as well? No, I never really had that happen to me. I had some old ladies give me like weird stares when I went to the onsen, but I think that's just because they wanted to see if I looked the same naked as they did. Will you consider moving back to Japan someday, even so they have issues with radiation now? I guess you meant even though they have issues with radiation now. 
I would say that the one thing stopping me from moving back to Japan is that gambling is illegal and so my boyfriend's profession is outlawed. But radiation is not really a factor for me not moving back there. The Alex Network, how is life? Pretty good. Kind of busy now with like school and shit, but for the most part I can't complain. Um, randoms123. Do you wear makeup? Some videos I do, some videos I don't. And the last one I did, I didn't. It's really a matter of laziness, really. Don Crab, you're in England now, but do you miss living in Florida and Japan? If you could, would you live in all three places at once? I sometimes miss the food in Miami, but generally speaking, I never enjoyed living there too much. Traffic sucks and it gets really hot in the summer and people are total complete fucking psycho douchebags. I would say if I had to live in Japan, I would live in Tokyo, and Tokyo specifically. I don't know if I would live in any other place besides a big city. I'm not a small town kind of person. Pluto, you ask? Is there a book you highly recommend to anyone or anyone you deem capable of appreciating said book? I guess it's too early to pitch my book in this, but I suppose when it's finished, you guys can read it. That sounds a little bit egotistical, doesn't it? Fuck it, I, it's my channel and I'm fucking pitching my book. But I guess a book that I would recommend, I think it's called War is a Force That Gives Us Meaning. And I read this a couple years back I forgot the author, I think he wrote for the New York Times, I believe, and he was a war correspondent, and he basically talked about all the stuff he, he like learned about himself and the world and the way we act in terms of war and in society, and you know, he just learned about it through actually experiencing life as a war correspondent. And I found it to be a very interesting book, and it had a lot of very interesting like philosophical looks at life and war and all these things. I, I would recommend that one. I hope I got the title right. Resilience, you also asked me, what do I think about feminism? I don't know what I think about feminism and what aspect. There's so many different kinds and layers to feminism that I, I can't really give a direct answer. Like, do I believe in some sort of equal rights for women, things like equal pay for equal work? then yes, of course I do. Do I believe things like lingerie and porn are particularly bad for women? Not really to the lingerie and porn. I'm not against porn. Like I've said, I made a, like, a whole grievances with porn video about the subject, but I think my biggest issue with porn, I never said this in my grievances with porn actually, is that I think that porn makes men into really bad sex partners. They think that this is like like the greatest position you could ever do because it makes the fucking porn actors go crazy in reality. That's like fucking all kinds of awkward angles and like painfulness sometimes. You look interesting, says Tonton Remy. Why is it that I don't understand half of what you say? Maybe because you need to clean your damn ears. Or I have a strange voice, I don't know. My accent? How do magnets work? Something to do with the poles. North and south, something with a needle and a rubber thing and water. Didn't you ever make your own compass? Anyone ever had to try and do that? Contrapantos. Do you believe in God? If so, which one? Not, not God in the terms of like you know a monotheistic like sky daddy God. But do I believe like there's a God that like created the world in seven days and all that shit? Not really. It's a little far fetched. Doesn't seem like logical in a lot of sense. But to be honest, I don't know. I, I don't often know. I can't, that's all I can say is that I don't know. And I feel like I'll never understand enough things to ever know. And that's just what I've accepted, that there is no possibility of knowing. Blood Love Freak, what book are you reading? Well, I'm reading some case notes. Shit's boring as shit. That's no, not super boring, but it like repeats the same thing again. That's not really a book, but... I was reading that, and I guess the book I've been reading, this is one of the books I've been reading, it's like a big ass fucking textbook on EU law. EU law is fucking complicated, man. You guys need to figure out what the hell you are. Not a country, but you're not a bunch of mini countries. It's not a state, but it kind of is. Draco Aquarian one asks, Are you happy or disappointed that you left your dream to become a top dominatrix in Japan and elsewhere for the field of media law? Who says I left anything? Criticism Guy 2009. I got two questions for you. Number one, what was the best place to buy anime DVDs and manga in Japan? It is, of course, Akihabara. 
home of maid cafes and all the fucking manga and anime you could fucking dream of, cosplayers and electronics and everything that you think of from Japan is in Akihabara. Like AKB48. 38? What are they called? How many fucking members do they have now? I don't even know. Question 2. Was there lots of security when you went to the 2012 London Games? Everywhere, like, were there agents all over the place, like in the Matrix? Uh, there was a lot of uh, undercover hidden cops everywhere. We found that out kind of in a scary way when we tried to sell some tickets that we had left over. Like, we weren't trying to scalp them or anything, we just had extra. And like, they immediately like popped out like, Can we talk to you a second? Ah! They weren't like mean or anything though. They weren't like evil about it. They were just like, Yeah, you're not really supposed to resell the tickets, but you know, whatever. They weren't like arresting anyone for it. Uh, there was quite a bit of security. Everyone was super friendly though. I would say that there was lots of volunteers. Everybody had a big smile on their face. Far more pleasant of an experience than going through like international airport security, if that's what I could say, but in a way a bit similar, you know, you have to go through the metal detector and stuff, but it wasn't anything extraordinarily horrible. Homeland security asks, where is my other shoe? Maybe there was no shoe to begin with. Maybe this is all an illusion in your head. Oh my god, it's the Matrix! <laughs> I don't know. Did you check under your bed? Usually that's where I lose random shit. Or behind the bed. Sometimes I find all kinds of crazy crap by there. Sometimes like pens and shit. You ever lose a pen in your bed? And then you like wake up all covered in marks but you'll never find the fucking pen? And heaven forbid you ever spill some fucking glitter on the bed. You'll be covered in glitter for like a fucking year. Doesn't matter how many times you change the damn sheets. Somebody whose name I can't read says, What's the best music track you ever heard? Like my favorite song ever? I know it sounds kind of cheesy, but I swear to God, this is like my favorite song. I can listen to this song again and again. And it is Warning by Incubus. I know it sounds a little emo, but I had a little bit of an emo stage. And by a little bit, I mean a lot of an emo stage when I was young. But this song in particular, I really loved. If you don't know this song, freaking look that up. Can't play it. Maybe I can't even sing it. Copyright infringement. Me, 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 me. Lloyd Skanks. Really? Your name is Lloyd Skanks? Is it true that Japanese peeps don't eat meat, only fish skanks and stuff like that? What are fish skanks? Like slutty fish? Do they only eat the sluttiest of fish? Do they eat fish and stuff? They do eat meat. Hell yeah, they eat meat. That's where Kobe beef comes from. And they eat quite a bit of meat. A lot more than I expected them to. But they love their like fried chicken, McDonald's, Burger King, KFC. The whole shebang, fucking eat everything. Yakiniku, which is a Korean thing, but I know that like it's huge in Japan. There's barbecue meat, it's all meat. It's like just like a meat for all. There's like, maybe you'll order some vegetables, but pretty much all you're there to do is eat freaking meat. The asses kicker says, do you realize how smart you are? I'm not very smart at all, so no. No, I don't, I guess. But which A team? Have you talked to Marley by any chance? Yes. I talk to Marley sometimes. I talk to Marley like, once every two weeks. I mean, not like a really long conversation, but we're like on Facebook terms and like, we occasionally Skype with each other. He lives in Russia now. Uh, I know that he just went to Oktoberfest. Ron McCammon, do you like fan art and will you feature it on your YouTube channel? Yeah, I might if I actually got some. It would be nice. It would be nice to have art besides the ones that I draw. I've been looking for someone to make me like a banner forever and nobody's done it since I have no ability to do it by myself. Resilience, 1983. Are you fluent in Spanish or do you speak Spanglish with your family? I'm probably at the Spanglish stage now. I used to be fluent. I used to speak Spanish, I think even as my first language and it just kind of left me. I had no one to talk to for the past 16 years in Spanish. I used to only speak to my grandparents in Spanish. BM89, why did you pick the dogmatic name like Jedi? Because I like fucking Star Wars, damn it. There's like nothing else to it. I know it sounds strange because I never talk about Star Wars even once on my channel. But I was a huge fucking Star Wars geek for like the longest time. And I know everybody's favorite movie is Empire Strikes Back. Well, my favorite movie is Jedi, damn it. I know nobody likes Jedi. Okay, admittedly the Ewoks shit gets a little boring. You know, when I watch the DVD, I actually like practically like fast forward through the Ewok scenes and then just watch that scene where like Luke is facing the Emperor and they have like that whole Vader scene and oh, if we can't turn you, then you have a sister. Ah! Tell your sister you were right. 
ah, and it was so sad, and then they ruined it with, no, fucking hey, fuck you, Lucas, fuck you. Oh, lazy perfectionist, you gave me all sorts of freaking questions. I'm gonna only answer some of these. Ethically speaking, are you more of a theologist? Did I say that right? Or a deontologist? I'm more of a deontologist, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, which might make me sound like a complete idiot if I'm not, but fuck it. In which I mean, I think that trying to be good at something or trying to at least make the attempts to do something right counts for quite a bit more than actually doing it and, you know, being whatever about it. Um, I don't know if that's how you mean it. I guess being a former kindergarten teacher and dealing with very small children, I guess you look a lot at the way kids try and, and how difficult it might be to do something and you have to really appreciate just the trying aspect, the, the aspect of, of effort to do the best. And I'm not always results oriented, I guess. I mean, to some degree, obviously, you have to be. I, I can't say I'm strictly one or the other, but if that were the case, results oriented, I would never have passed math class because thanks for, like, you know, actual, like, you know, effort counted as part of your grade. Ooh, thank God for that because shit. And then you ask me, what does the square root of seven smell like? Delicious? Well, I think that's enough for now of questions. I might do another one of these should the need arise or people have like a lot more questions to ask me. Luckily, nothing was too embarrassing, no. except for my use of handcuffs. I swear they were just a prop? Nah, not really, of course. You know what they're for! See you guys.